Should a high value woman date a man who uses a coupon on their first date? Hi, my name is Unique Svanda and I am your online dating coach here at the Black Swan Relationship Academy and I'm also your style concierge. Um, helping you style yourself for those dates, your wardrobe, just in general, keeping up with your your level up and how you show up on those dates and those relationships and just for yourself in general. Um, today I'm talking about coupon dating. To do or not to do? <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments before I go ahead. Would you date a guy, a gentleman, that is using coupons? So funny enough, the minute I say gentleman and coupons, they don't really seem to go in the same sentence as gentleman using coupons. It's normally a guy using coupons, right? Um, <laughs> and as a high value woman, there's certain things that we have to really think ahead of time about. And to be honest with you, it's not really about the coupon itself. It's about the symbolism. Um, you will find that, you know, spent money never really comes back to you. It, it, it's, it's that whole analogy of do you either spend or do you invest? So when we talk about time, um, when we say we spend time, we feel like it's all wasted and we can't really take it back. But when you invest time, you feel like you're going to get it back from whatever and whoever you invested, invest the time in. When it comes to relationships, you invest time because you want to grow and know the person. And at times that will cost money at times because you need to go somewhere, sit down, have lunch, break bread. You know that whole thing about sitting on a table with someone because you're on the same level. There's a psychology behind having dinner. There's a psychology behind dates. So it's not that we just date to get, 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 get. And it should never, ever be an option because you... As a high value woman you're not dating to get anything to, or from man you're not dating to get anything what you're doing is dating to see if someone is compatible with you for you to share your life with for you to give 100 to and they give 100 back that's why we vet and that's and what we do is we see how much this man is really willing to invest time wise money wise and pretty much everything and the thing with money is you know how even the word says about how um you can really see where someone's heart is by where they invest their money so if a man is investing money in you he knows that you are a good thing and he has found a good thing honey because personally if someone is investing time and money in me i, I value that i treasure that and i'm one of those people who will always want to give 100% in a relationship and for me to be safe and secure in a relationship I need to know that my man is investing his time his money on me because I am going to be doing exactly the same I will be investing my time and my money on him so it's a mutual thing it's not really about give and take um, it's not about get 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 it's not about give 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 it's about mutuality and I'm sure I mentioned that in another video as well what we're looking for is someone who wants to meet your core needs as much as you want to meet their core needs so when it comes to coupon dating it's not really about how much is spending i mean you could have got a coupon for something that would have cost him a thousand pounds and now cost him three four hundred pounds so that's still investing in a way but it's the symbolism of the coupon when he brings it out on a first date it's just i would really feel some kind of way so my personal answer to that is no but should the relationship um uh be something that we pursue and it brings out a coupon in a later time in the relationship that is most probably something that we would have discussed and we're able to kind of see how we can then go on this date or go on this adventure together um, as we're always looking for something to better the relationship so coupon dating on a first date personally is a no there are other situations where I do understand the economic pressures of what this this time has brought the lockdown and all of those things that what they have brought 
into the scope of the dating scene where men are a lot more reluctant to take out women that they might not want to invest in later or they they're choosing picnic dates because there were no restaurants for us to go to and we all, all we had to do is sit in parks and people realized that so didn't really have to put much into a date they didn't really have to put their best foot forward and their best foot version was taking someone on a date and so on in the park and taking going for walks and going for a run that kind of thing so things like that you can be innovative and take a girl out for a picnic if the pocket is stretched then invest time invest in something that really makes a difference in her day make a woman come away feeling wow because you would have put your best foot forward it's never really about the amount of money you spend it's really about the amount of time and money you invest in someone that will give you a return in business we always talk about return on investment right in the same way relationships are like that like we always say relationships are about negotiating your best path your best place and your best your best space uh, of you showing up as the best version of yourself. So when you invest in 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 gold, when you invest in silver, when you invest in stocks, you know that they're going to give you a return. So you literally invest your money in those type of things and you get dividends and money back, that kind of thing. So um, same thing with relationships. Your friendships are the way they are because you have put time and money into them. And like I always say that though the things, the, the three things that could really make or break any relationship is time, money, and I forget the other one. I'm sure I'll remember at the end of this somewhere. But the two most important ones that really can make a, a break a relationship are time and money. So if let's just talk about those two. Don't forget that I say three, right? Let's just talk about those two. So the things, even as personally coming from someone who who was is a, um, was is a divorcee, um, time and money were major contributing factors to the reason why we never really made it because at the end of the day if you're not a good steward of money money likes to be around people who are able to keep them money likes to 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 grow and be invested so in the same way when you invest in a woman um they we are more willing and more open to make sure that your core needs and core um core and non-negotiables, everything you need that we are able to do that for you as well in the same breath that you do the same for us. Now, before I go any further, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel because we'll be literally this year, I believe, we'll be diving into more topics that really help you in a being, that address your thoughts, that address your heart, that address your emotions, and that address your mind because we are whole beings. We do not give you strategy on how to win without making sure that you are winning within your heart, winning within your mind and winning within your, your, your spiritual life as well. So here at the Black Swan Relationship Academy, we really concentrate on, on building you as a person so that when you go and build relationships, because the thing is relationships are really what make us who we are and the circles that we, we we come around even when so you know when your relationship is not going very well in the workplace it's the same thing at home it then tends to suffer so with that said um to kind of go back to the topic there's a lot more that we can discuss in the nuances about coupon dating saving money etc and all of that but to be honest with you right now my ultimate answer is nah okay maybe with less attitude to be honest with you coupon dating let's just save that for our friends let's save it for our our, our girlfriends our, our guy friends let's save it for that but when it comes to someone you want to spend the rest of your life with let's be of the mindset of investing which is why we, tr we, 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 we talk to you, train you on how to vet because you don't want to give your life to somebody who is not wanting to give their life to you so in the meantime my darlings 
save those coupons save those coupons for your friends save those coupons for your for your for your for your children for your family save those coupons for later on in the relationship and yes they can be used but let's not do that on the first dates let's make sure that we show up as as worthy of investment let's also make sure that we show up as as worthy of the time that we're giving to these high value men and vice versa in the meantime you take care of you and if you have any questions at all just drop them in the comment box um like i always say if you feel like um you have a situation that you want to talk about book a discovery call let's talk about it there's so much that we can unearth in all of these discovery calls and if you're not sure what packages to go for again book a 30 minute call and we'll be able to discuss what things um you could be literally go through anyway you take care of you and i'll see you in another video Mwah.